So I'm Rod, I'm the trading infrastructure team leader in QSpark, which uh, we're an HFT firm, but today I'm not going to talk about my product or even about C++. Uh, I'm going to talk about a specific aspect of recruitment, which is a technical interview. I've done dozens of them. I'm sure many people here have done maybe even more. Uh, I have some tips from my experience to how to do a good technical interview for a developer. They're completely subjective, so if you don't agree, you're probably right. So, uh, my first tip is to make this a learning opportunity for the candidate. I want someone who has the ability to learn new things, which is more important than his skill set. So I'm trying to assess his knowledge, trying to figure out what I expect from him to know from the test, and then compare it to what I get. And if he's doing better than what I expect, then I'll give him some extra credit. I also try not to put a very hard limit on the test time, give him time to think about the test, looks into some resources, search the web, maybe learn C++ if he's a C developer, and come back with any kind of answer, even if it's not a perfect answer. And if he, I see that the gap is still large, but I think he's a good candidate, sometimes send him home, tell him learn something, and come back in a week and show me what you have learned, maybe go home, learn CRTP, come back and teach me CRTP. Uh, my second tip is to try to simulate a work environment. That means for coding question, real, dev real development environment, access to the internet, no wrinkly papers, no whiteboard, no pseudocode. I provide assistant. I try to create some kind of interaction with the candidate like he's a real employee. I tell him maybe the performance here, I look at the answer, I tell him it's pretty good. Maybe you can improve the performance, work on it, try a different data structure and try to see how the interaction goes. That also means that if a candidate can Google the full answer, probably not a good question. Third tip, I use my product as a base for the interview. For example, I make the candidate design or implement a simplified version of my uh, product. First of all, I'm lazy. Using my own product make it very easy to create real life scenarios. The test also improves as the product evolves. New features mean new test questions or improving the, the existing questions. Also, I'm looking for developers who are better than me. If I was the best developer in my team, I would develop right now, not making a lecture. So I need some kind of edge over them. I need to be in my uh, good spot. My first tip is to avoid misleading question. I don't like brain teaser. Uh, they provide bad coverage and tend to mislead. Maybe the candidate don't understand the question. Maybe you already knows it. I can't ask a hundred of them to get a good uh, coverage, so I try to avoid them altogether. I don't also personally don't like balancing trees, sorting algorithms. Those are the kind of things you learn in the university. And if you're a fresh graduate, you'll probably be more likely to answer them successfully than experienced engineer. I want question where experience gives an edge. So I'm looking for something that you learn with experience. Uh, my fifth tip is that the discussion is more interesting than the answers. I'm, I'm more interested in the way candidates solve the question than the actual solution. I try to create open dis discussion uh, give some feedback for the wrong uh, answers, point out, uh, point out, and we solve the, the question iteratively. I don't like when a candidate can solve the question in his first run. I'm trying to build this up as the, as the test goes. At least some of the questions are very vague, like design or good API. This allows the candidate to provide his own ideas of a good solution, if, even if I don't think that's a good solution, if he can actually justify and at least show a good conviction of his solution, that's very good. And my last tip is to trust your gut feeling. I don't try to be completely impartial. If I don't like a candidate personally, I always ask myself why. And I first, and for all, ask myself, do I want to work with this person?
Thank you. Uh, that's my email if you want.